Hey guys, how you doing? Kick Superfan here. Welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be talking about all of my iPods. So let's get into it. So first we are going to start off with my iPod mini. So I got this a bit ago on like eBay. I think it was 40 quid or something. It works perfectly fine. As you see, I'll turn the backlight on so we can actually see a bit better. And that's a bit... Right. So you should be able to see, I think. Yeah, music's fine on here. And I'll show you it in action really quick. All right, guys, so I've got the auxiliary cable here. This is connected to my soundbar, which is just there. So I need to get this into auxiliary mode. Put this into the iPod. And I think it should work. So it is the music that I made on here, so it won't be copyrighted. So... As you can see, and it has literally just died in my hands, which is wicked. <laughs> All right, so that is my iPod Mini. So the next iPod we will be getting onto is the first iPod Nano. So this I got a bit ago from CEX. It's a nice little thing. This it's a bit sad it was recalled because like the battery in the past, but. The battery's amazing on this thing for me, and this also works absolutely fine. So, turn it on. Alright, so the screen might be a bit too bright. Don't want to knock off my camera. Let me see if I can lower down the brightness a little bit. Uh, I do not remember. I, I swear you can do it though. I, I don't know. I, I can't find. So I'll just I'll just show you it playing music. That's all I really need to do. So playlists. Play the same one again. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So yeah, this is a really good little machine, this. I am really happy with it. And it is my backup iPod if my one of my other ones has died. So that is my first gen iPod Nano. So the next iPod I have is the second generation Nano. So I got this one from cash converters a while ago and it's the battery is cacking this things like it's not turning on let me see if i can i've actually got a 30 pin here so i could let's hope it charges this is just plugged into my xbox and there we go it's it is powering on might be a bit dim but it is powering on so it's just wait for this thing to boot I want like, yes, we're in. Oh, what do you mean? Do not disconnect. Oh, I think it's trying to like connect to my Xbox. Oh, what is that sound? That's static. Oh, let's try and get a song really quick. See, it does play music, but the battery it was total cack in this thing. And I don't know what static is. I don't know, but yep, it does work absolutely fine. So if I unplug it, yep, absolutely dead. Right. But that is my, oops, that is my second gen iPod Nano. So, oh, that's just woken up. So the next iPod, 
you might have guessed it, the third generation Nano. So I got this from CX in Wales and I use this thing a ton. This was my main iPod a while ago, but unfortunately I left it in a bag. It's got that big line of dead pixels. So that's really annoying. So if I, let's see if I can put this on charge. It's doing this. It should have enough battery because the battery is the best. This is so this is my best battery iPod. This, so you can actually see it this time. So let's go to music. My songs. I've got music from um, Tetris Effect. You know the game from Tetris series. Go see that video. And then I've got all of my music here, so I I don't know why it's all like code stuff and that. I have fixed that now these days, but let's just play this music. Yep, absolutely fine. It still works. I would use it if I had to, but it's not really necessary because of the dead pixels but yep yeah, that is my third generation iPod Nano so I am actually going to get my battery pack if I can find it really quick all right so I have found my battery pack so I've got the 30 pin cable there ready for the next iPod so the next iPod is going to be the fourth gen Nano so I got this from CEX in Leeds, I'd bought two iPods that day, which I'll get into the other one in a bit, but the battery's kind of cacking this one as well, and I can actually, oh well, so let's power this up, I'll turn my battery pack on, there we go, it's booting up, so yeah, most of these iPods do have quite cack battery like this one but plug it in and it does boot up so just wait till we get on home screen there we go so it might be a bit bright I think I remember how to change the brightness on this General. Ah. Hey, that's better. Right, so. Uh, the click wheel is quite slow on this as well. But yeah, it does the job. It does do the job. So I need to go to albums. Right, there they all are again. Let us see music. If I actually play it. Oh, that is loud. Yep, does work fine. Play pause. Yep. Absolutely fine. It's just terrible battery, so. It does hold it for a little bit, but not for long. So I won't be able to use this like on the go at that. But that is my fourth generation iPod Nano. So the next one is my first iPod, but I won't be plugging this in. So this is my fifth generation iPod Nano, and the glass is coming to cause the batteries in this thing is expanded so it I can't I don't want to charge it because I don't want to risk a fire so this iPod I will not be plugging in but you've seen the other iPods video that I released back in the spooky series of last year and yes this did used to work I shot a, I shot a video on this thing but the next iPod which does work is a sixth generation Nano, so I got this a, a bit ago now, 
and it has been a trooper. It is a really solid little machine. So like, I got home screen. So yeah, I've I've used this thing a bit. I got it in um, I think it was CX Leeds, the same one as this iPod. So yeah, it's been all right. This not the best battery, but okay battery. So yeah, it's also been working fine. I got my music so music on here. Same song. Oh god damn it. If I maybe if I plug in auxiliary. There we go. So yeah, plays music. Just like all the others, full touch screen. Really nice iPod. So the next iPod is my seventh generation Nano. So I I've just got this not that long ago, and this would be my childhood dream. This would have been my childhood dream back then when this came out. So like it plays videos, it's Bluetooth, this thing. So like I'm even gonna and it's dead. Let me get my lightning cable. Yeah, so Billy, you... it's the only iPod except the touch that uses lightning. So, booting up now. I'm gonna switch this to Bluetooth mode. So, let me turn off Bluetooth on my phone. Should, yep, there it is. So you might not be able to see this. But it is. It has paired. Look at that. So I have charged this. It it lasted quite a bit less as well. So I have put my music on here as well. Now I've actually got all the names on here. All these are on BandLab as well. And I'll show my username at the end of this video. So the music I've been playing, Fetch My Dog soundtrack. See, no cable, straight Bluetooth. Really good that, quite like that. So that is my seventh generation iPod Nano. A nice little thing this. So my next iPod is going to be the fourth gen iPod Shuffle. So, put up it. Okay. Auxiliary. So, I got this is the iPod that I got the same time as this fourth gen but at the CX. I bought these two at the same day. And this is quite good battery. So, I don't even know if it's still got charged because I haven't used this thing in a while. Hmm. I think it might be dead. I don't know where my cable is. Let me just try and see if we get anything. Nope. So I can't find my cable at the moment, so I won't be able to juice this thing out. Sorry about that, but this definitely does work. And my last iPod is going to be the second generation shuffle. So I got this at Cash Converters, the same when I got this one. And just like this one, oops, the battery is gone. It's It doesn't even work. It syncs to my computer. I can, I've put music on it, but it just doesn't charge at all. So that thing is gone, but... I wish I could use this thing because I quite like how you got this bit where you can clip it because this one here is a bit like accidentally press on that button there which can be quite annoying but with this you've got a little bit here 
That's also quite satisfying with this clip as well. Apple makes some good stuff though, aren't they? Alright, so that is all my iPods. Let's get them in a group photo here, even the black spot version. Alright, so that is my iPods. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. As you can see, we have changed our name on Sports of the Boys. We are now called the Yorkshire Terriers. So hopefully there's going to be a new video out soon. I really hope so. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And here is my band lab if you want to follow me. So, Ben Rayner Music. I posted a lot of stuff on here. Give me a follow.